Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson about sampling. So what's going to happen is the first couple of pages you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is sampling? Well, sampling is really used to make predictions. Uh, let me give you a quick story uh, as an example. Well, let's say if I wanted to ask my students uh, what their favorite ice cream was, right? I was going to have, a, you know, wanted to plan a big ice cream party for the entire seventh grade of, say, 300, 300 students. And let's say I want to know uh, which ice cream to get, chocolate or vanilla, right? Well, all, all, all I would do is basically ask one class the question. And let's say the results said that 80% like chocolate and 20% of the students in that class liked vanilla, right? Well, based on this little sample, I'm gonna assume that out of the 300 students, around 80% are gonna like chocolate and 20% are gonna like vanilla. Okay, I don't need to ask all the students, but I'm gonna assume that my little sample mirrors the entire population. So take a look at this little uh, diagram over here on the left-hand side about ants. All right, let's say if I was a scientist and I wanted to do some research about uh, maybe what causes ants to become ill, right? Well, what's inside of this oval represents all the ants, right? And it'd be impossible to try to do research on every single ant, right? There'd be, be just no way you could collect every single ant. But what we could do is you could collect a sample of ants, which is represented inside this little box, and then based on the sample, where right, you can make predictions about the entire population, right? So let's say I was trying to create a new type of uh, pest that would, that would kill the ants, right? and only one out of the nine uh, ants died, well, I could assume that only one out of nine ants of the entire population would die as well, all right? So really, um, sampling is a really powerful thing. It, it can provide data uh, about the future uh, population. All right, and one last thing. To conduct a sample, you have to use proportions. All right, so let's write that down, proportions. All right, remember, proportions are when you have two equal ratios. So let me give you an example. If you, if you turn the page. All right, here's the question. It says, Chris made four out of his first 10 shots, right? Predict how many shots he will make out of 55 shots, all right? So the first thing you have to ask is, you know, well, how big is the sample? Well, right here, four out of 10 shots, that's the sample. So Chris has four makes. out of 10 total shots. So I'm gonna assume that if he takes 10 more shots, he'll make four. If he takes 10 more shots, he'll make four and so on. But the question is, we wanna predict how many he's gonna make out of 55 shots, right? So I'm gonna put 55 total down here. It's a proportion. And this will be X. And remember, the way you solve proportions is the cross products are equal. So 10 times X is gonna equal four times 55, right? So 10 times X is going to equal 4 times 55, which is 220. And then I'm going to solve both sides by dividing by 10 and dividing by 10. And you get X equals 22. Now, this is just a prediction. It doesn't mean Chris is going to make exactly 22 shots, but it means it's probably going to be pretty close um, to what he would make. All right. So why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you did this practice problem. So here it says, Jamie surveyed 20 students uh, at our school and found that six of them are going on the field trip. If Jamie asked 10 more students the same question, predict how many would be going on the field trip. So our sample is 20 people, right? And of the 20, six said that they're going on a field trip. So let's write that down. So we know that six were going out of 20 total. That is Jamie's sample. Well, based on that sample, we can now create another proportion, right? Because the question is, is if Jamie asked 10 more, all right, how many would be going on a field trip? So 10 is the total, right? So 10 goes down here. And that's going to be the unknown, right? And this is actually a pretty simple uh, proportion to solve because we know that 20 divided by 2 
gives you 10. So 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. So the answer is going to be n equals 3. But again, if you wanted to create an equation to solve that, you know that 6 times 10 is 60. And that's always going to equal 20 times n, which is 20n. And then if you divide both sides by 20, 60 by 20, uh, divided by 20 gives you the answer of 3. All right, how'd you do?